Hey everyone. Welcome back to Iraqi Dinar today, your go to source for all things related to the Iraqi economy and currency updates. I'm Ali, and today, we've got some exciting news that showcases Iraq's growing influence on the international stage. Let's dive right in. Colon first up, some groundbreaking news. The European Union has officially recognized the Iraqi government's strides in international investment. This is a huge step forward, and it signals a bright future for Iraq's economic land escape. Adding to this positive momentum, Iraq has signed the Singapore Convention on Mediation. This move is set to enhance dispute resolution mechanisms, making Iraq an even more attractive destination for international investors. Mark your calendars, folks. Iraq's Working Party Session for Accession to the World Trade Organization is scheduled for July 18 at 10 a.m. We're all eagerly awaiting this significant event. Although we're still waiting for some precursor actions, this session is a clear indication that Iraq is serious about integrating into the global economy. It's important to note that there are several steps that need to be taken before the session, but having a set date is a promising sign. Absolutely, and we'll keep you updated on all the developments as we get closer to the date. Now, let's talk about some transformative policies in Iraq's economic strategy. Today, the financial and economic advisor to the Prime Minister, Majar Mohammad Saleh, shared some insightful details. Saleh explained that the state has adopted a policy of providing sovereign guarantees for loans obtained by the private sector. This move is designed to finance a crucial package of private industrial projects. In simpler terms, the government is backing loans to help private companies kickstart and complete essential industrial projects. This approach is part of a broader strategy to speed up the implementation of stalled government projects, especially those that improve critical infrastructure like electricity, drinking water, and roads. Saleh emphasized that the goal is to eliminate delays and ensure continuous progress, by linking the ability to implement urban projects with the growth of public revenue sources whether from oil or non-oil sector so there's a clear focus on maximizing the country's economic potential. The state's policy also includes providing sovereign guarantees covering up to 85% of the value of private sector activities, particularly those related to construction and industrial production. This means a significant boost for housing and infrastructure projects across Iraq. This collaborative effort between the public and private sectors is crucial. The private sector plays a strategic role in developing Iraq's economy and enhancing its infrastructure. That's all for today's update, folks. It's an exciting time for Iraq, and we can't wait to see these developments unfold. Make sure to like subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates from Iraqi Dinar today. Until next time, stay informed and stay positive.